to create a lesson in Moodle or DepEd LMS. Just a disclaimer, I am not a member of the Technical Working Committee of the school's division of Baguio City. I am actually self-learning on how to use the Moodle and the DepEd LMS, and I am actually enjoying it. So I am just going to share to you some tips on how you can use it in your own classroom. Um, using the materials from the repository, as it turns out, is actually optional. So if there are no materials uploaded yet in our repository, or there are some items there, or there are some materials there that you that you don't want to use or you just want to create your own i hope this video will be useful for you um moodle or deped lms actually has an option to create a lesson so if you're going to click on add an activity or resource you could click on lesson but personally i am not so knowledgeable on how to use it i have tried it but i find it so complex so instead of using the lesson feature, I am going to share to you on how you could actually use the book feature and also the quiz feature. Yes, we could actually integrate lessons in the quiz feature. But first, let us try to use the book. So we are now in the book that we are working on. Let us now fill in the necessary details. Actually, for this tutorial, I am making use of the English um, 6, Q2, Week 8 module. And for the description, you might want to just include the um, necessary acknowledgement, perhaps. Uh, in this case, we just open the document and use the snipping tool. Just open the snipping tool. You could actually search for the snipping tool in your laptop if you are using a Windows 10. Just type snipping and yeah, you will have it there. So let us open the snipping tool. Click new and take a screenshot of this page. Right? And then let us save it. File, save us. Acknowledgement and let's go ahead and save it in the downloads yeah you might want to put that in there so let's click on picture browse repositories and upload a file choose a file and it will ask you to put a description about it just put anything in it okay and save so there you have already the book and then for the appearance you don't really need to change anything in there already so let's just go ahead and click save and display we are now within the book that we are working on and you might want to just use this feature to include all the lessons and put all the activities in the quiz feature. So looking at our module, we have the what I know part, but it is comprised of activities. Also the what's in and what's new, it is made up of activities. So you might want to go on and put all the information under what is it which is about the lesson content so what you can do here is again use the snipping tool we just click on new and then take a picture of that part that we want to include in our lesson ah oh, sorry okay let's take a picture of it again and let's save that as a file just follow the same procedure as we did earlier save image okay and then save changes so that would already be the first page of our book and if you want to add another page just click on the plus button and this time the chapter title will be lesson two for the content the same you might just want to 
take a picture again use the snipping tool and just follow the same procedure so basically this is how you use the book feature of Moodle but instead of using the snipping tool what you can actually also do is to well if you want to uh, make your job a little more difficult you can <laughs> you can open the pdf file into word file there and then you can copy paste the lesson but um the downside here is that you cannot just copy the pictures for example if i am going to copy this one um and paste it on another page okay for example i will put lesson three if i will just uh, copy those parts from the file and paste it here the picture will not be uh automatically copied so it will be a little more difficult uh, that is why just snipping the pictures or taking a screenshot of all the parts of the module would be a better option i think but then again you cannot put the lesson and activities together in the book feature i mean you will have to put the activity parts in the quiz feature of Moodle. But that is why I told you a while ago, you can actually use the quiz feature to already include the lesson and also the activities. How are you going to do that? Let me demonstrate. So instead of using the book option, you could just choose on quiz. And name it however you want. For the description, is it's up to you on what you want to put in there. Just make sure to set the settings however you like. And when you're ready, just click on Save and Display. And let us now edit our quiz. So to add a lesson, let's go ahead and click Add a new question. And let us choose Description. So under description, we can actually include here the lesson. But before that, under category, make sure that you are choosing the, the quiz that you're working on. And then for the question name, let us put lesson one. And under the question text, the same procedure, let us include the pictures that we have taken a while ago in that particular lesson. Again, we just follow the same procedure. If you need more pages where you want to put your lesson, just go ahead and click on Add a Question and choose Description. Personally, I like to use this feature more than using the book or using the lesson feature of Moodle. Why? Because when my students are answering the quiz when they do not know the answer to that particular quiz they will still have to exit quiz in an open lesson or open the book uh, in comparison to when you just put the lesson within the quiz itself that means that while they are answering the quiz they could just browse through the pages within the quiz itself to find the correct answer did i explain that well well i hope so so now let us add the questions so we have here a fill in the blank activity. What we can do here is add a new question and choose the drag and drop into text option, or we can also use the select missing words. So first let us try the drag and drop into text option. So fill question text let us copy that okay and paste it here and then we will delete all the underscores and change it into two open brackets and two close brackets 
now that we are done, let us go back to the options. I am so sorry. I hope I know what is the correct answer here. Both Lang Ai and Panagbanga are festivals. I think that is the correct answer. So what we should do here is to put the correct answer here, which is festival. And it is the answer for number one. So we need to put one within the brackets. Similarly, they promote two and three. What are the options there? They promote culture and tourism, I think. Okay, if that is the correct answer. Uh, but they could actually be in different order, right? So perhaps to help yourself with uh, in checking, you could just uh, put a clue like, yeah. Just put a clue there so that they know which one to put. And you put the correct answer, culture and tourism. And then put the correct answer. I mean, put the number of the correct answer there. So basically, that's how you do a fill in the blank question. I am not going to elaborate further on this one. You could just navigate it, or maybe we could create another tutorial for this one. But this thing is the most important. Make sure that the default mark would correspond to the total number of items for this particular quiz item. So there are 10 items there. So make sure you have put 10 points here as a default mark. All right. So if we are going to um, preview our lesson now, this is how it should look like. This is the information. The learners will have to read their lesson first before they could move on to the activity and answer the questions. So I prefer really to use the quiz feature and use the description um, option to put the lessons in there, which will be followed by questions that students will have to answer. That is the difference between a quiz and the book, because in the book feature, you could not incorporate uh, interactive activities within the pages. While here in the quiz, you could put the lesson and put some questions. However, your students will only find out whether their answer is right or wrong after they have taken the entire quiz. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Till next video, if you could click on that subscribe button, that would be great. Thank you.